All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that uh, chilling uh, video is from a great new documentary called Sing a Little Louder. And uh, before we get to our guest, uh, Juliana Tamarezzi, president of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council and fellow at the uh, uh, Philos Project, I just want to, uh, breaking news, police have captured the suspect in the Arizona shootings, according to reports. Uh, this, uh, there were shootings where uh, one person was killed, five people were wounded in several different locations in Mesa, Arizona. There are reports now that police have a suspect in custody in those shootings. All right, let's say hello to Juliana right now. Um, welcome, good to see you, and uh, congratulations on, on this uh, documentary. Uh, you know, the message of the persecution of Christians uh, is something that, you know, on this show we try to talk about as much as possible. It does sometimes get lost in the shuffle of all the crazy things that goes on uh, go on in the world. You keep it at the forefront, and I'm glad you do. Talk about what you're doing with this documentary. Thank you for having me on again, Steve. The documentary basically talks about the uh, churches in Germany singing louder through their choirs to drown out the cries of the Jews that were being taken to death camps in uh, trains passing by their churches. And we're linking that to the today's, not silence only, but singing louder in churches, drowning out the cries of the Assyrian Christians in the East. And this is only a 10 minute documentary and we're ready to take it on the road um, on, in different churches. And something very exciting for this movie is that we've had the honor of uh, Congressman Frank Wolf endorsing this movie. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing journey. Yeah, he's a great man. He does a lot of good work along these lines. And um, I, you know, I give credit to you, but I, it begs the question that I've asked you before and I've asked others uh, you know, uh, uh, who, who share the faith with you and, and others. Uh, why? Why the silence uh, from Christians all over the world? I know I, I, I have a pretty darn good idea why the silence from the White House, but why the silence from other Christians in the face of what's going on with, with Christians in the Middle East? I strongly believe that we as Christians have become complacent in our own faith. Many of us really do not understand it. We are cultural Christians rather than really uh, staying true to the essence of Christianity as a religion. That's first and foremost. The second one is that we want to become more and more politically correct, not offending Muslims, uh, even extremist Muslims who are thirsty for Christian blood. We have been, uh, I founded the organization seven years ago, the Iraqi Christian Relief Council, and it's just for the last six months since ISIS, that churches have started opening up their doors and their hearts to us. But the persecution has been going on for centuries. And now you see the images of uh, the saints being, um, faces of saints being defaced, uh, the church is being destroyed, our clergy being killed, our women are being sold in sex slavery. That has been just being brought forth uh, through people like you, Steve, and I'm grateful for that uh, and keeping it on the radar, but we've been at this for a long time. And it is really embarrassing for the church standing at the pulpit, pastors standing at the pulpit, preaching the gospel, and yet failing to stand with the suffering body of Christ in the East. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the kidnapping and the execution of Christians by, uh, by ISIS, I believe one of your ICR board uh, members got word uh, not too long ago that uh, on the ground in Syria, uh, one of their relatives, uh, first cousins, had been abducted. Am I correct? Seven of them, Steve. Seven of them have been abducted and two of them have been executed. It's outrageous. And then you see the, the trashing the, the, of, uh, of the... Uh, the historical uh, monuments and religious figures uh, that are in museums or in churches and what they do with pleasure to these uh, symbols of, of other people's history and religion. Uh, it just speaks to, to, to who they are. Uh, tell the folks out there watching right now what they could do to get to your organization, possibly get you into their church to see this documentary or see it without you there. How could they go about that? Thank you, Steve, for that. The Iraqi Christian Relief Council is a nonprofit organization, and we go to churches and to synagogues, even to groups that we present. We really bring these stories to life for you and we talk about what you can do right now the basic necessity in Syria and in Iraq is food medicine shelter clean water and etc and we work in both countries and you can so, donate so Iraq Iraq Christian Relief org correct Iraqi Christian Relief org and please go Iraqi to sing louder movie dot com sing louder movie dot com sing louder movie dot com 
Great to talk to you again. Thank you Thanks very much. We'll speak to you soon. Jeffrey Lord's next, folks. Don't go away.